In the library, we get some surprising but interesting sights now and again. Here's some even as we speak, and thanks to Gabriel Sanders in Middleburg for capturing it. Nice to see an audience. Now we can begin. Characters are always dropping by. Most, like this one, captured by Cynthia Roth and Catawissa, will work for food. If you look hard enough, like Frank Saponsic of Shavertown did, down among the dewdrops, you might just find a character traveling on his own. Looks like a friendly sort, doesn't he? Look what showed up here. It's an image from Bill Farley in Burlington, and on it is, well, I'm not sure. Bill calls it an interesting insect, and we can agree on that. Oh, and over here, three woodpeckers pecking at a tree. Abby Guardiani sent it in from Jim Thorpe. What is it they say? Two's company, three's a crowd, but not here. Well, time to move on, leaving the dullness of winter and the not-quite-there images of spring behind. Sherry Skrutsky and Archibald offered the subject and titled it Bursting with Color, and it surely is. A little rain brings out the zest in the flowers. They become glowing works of living art. Sonia Pistuccia, Brandonville, who showed this one. More colors of summer offered here by Lisa Downs, Red Rock. Rain or shine, no matter, the colors are always nice. Posing just right to show lots of color, Midnight Rose from Donald Surfoss, hometown. Our search for spring beauty sometimes can be interrupted. Jim Lake, Goldsboro, suggested here that his sunny day had suddenly been cut in half. Well, everything straightens out in the end. After the storm at Nakawana State Park from Robin Massacero, Dalton. In Troop, Jim Filipski captured a colorful sunset, the end of hopefully a good day. Well, sunsets come and go, and if we're lucky, we are in the right place to see one, like Ben Stein in this sunset from the Tunkhannock River Bridge. Well, all for now, keep looking for images, and remember, see it, save it, send it on in to the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.